Good morning, everyone. My name is Amanda Waldhart, and you are here today with my weekly Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Okay, so I actually have a really cool stamp set that we're going to do today. Um, we're going to make a couple cards. Actually, I'm lying. We're not going to make a couple. We're going to have a bonus card. I love bonus cards. So normally for my weekly Wednesdays, we do two projects. Sometimes they're cards. Sometimes they're a card in a treat box or a treat bag or some sort of 3D project. But today we are going to do three cards. So I'm really excited about this because I love this stamp set. And you will not find this stamp set in the 2020-2021 annual catalog but you can find it in the new 2020-2021 brochure catalog, the beginner's brochure. So the stamp set that we're gonna use today is called Cute Fruit. Um, I think this is so adorable. Um, it's got the watermelon, it's got the pineapple, it's got the banana, it's got just, it's so cute. So I'm gonna show you how to make three very, pretty simple cards, really, um, with just using a few tools. And I'm gonna show you the cards right now. So we're going to do today the watermelon. Got the little watermelon, in case you wanna see, you can see it a little bit. I used the Wink of Stella. Okay, so we got the watermelon. Then we're going to do the pineapple. Stand tall like pineapple. I love it, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do like the little like limes and grapefruits or whatever you want to call them. They're just, they're cute. I love these two colors together. It's flirty flamingo and granny apple green. So we're just going to do just simple cards today. So I'm going to turn you down and I'm going to get started and show you what to do. So give me a minute to transition. Thanks. Okay, I'm back. Thank you for being patient. I am definitely not the most camera savvy girl. So... We're gonna start with the watermelon first. And what you're gonna need is I used the Whisper White Thick, okay? <clears throat> it's five and a half by eight and a half, and it's scored at one and one fourth, which is just a normal card font, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it this way because our card is gonna go this way. Okay. Also, just to let you know, um, if you're watching my video on YouTube, um, or my Facebook page or my blog. Thank you very much, first of all. I just wanna say that before we even get started. I appreciate you um, taking the time out of your day to watch my video. You can find me at amandasinspirationstation.com and that is Amanda Waldhart um, under YouTube, but that is my blog and that is also my Facebook page. And these projects today and last week's projects, which I will show you at the end of the video here, um, all of those will be a make and take for you. Um, if you spend a minimum order of $35 and you use this hostess code, um, you have until next Tuesday, um, then you will get all of those sent to you in the mail and you will get a printable PDF sent to your email. Um, again, I'll go over that again at the end of the video and show you last week's projects too because you'll actually get five projects this time because of the bonus card. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. This right here measures, this is part of our designer series paper stack that comes in the brights, the neutrals, the subtles, the regals, the in colors. Um, I'm using the brights today. And this, there's two sides to this sheet that are two different patterns. Well, of course there's two sides, duh. But two different patterns, <laughs> silly me. Um, but there are four different patterns. Um, and this measures at five and a half by one and um, one fourth. And I just realized that I forgot my stamp and seal, so I gotta get that out. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm just going to put some adhesive on that. And we're just gonna set this in the middle of the card. Middle of the card, voila, okay? Now, I do have three sheets here and a circle, which I'm gonna get to that circle in a second. All three of these are like a scalloped stitch square, which I got on um, all three of these cards. So all three of these cards have all three, and I got this on the Stitch So Sweetly dies. Again, I talk about this die probably every Wednesday. It is a must have. It's just, I use it all the time, I love it. 
So what we're gonna do is we are definitely gonna use a lot of dimensionals today because we're gonna stamp the watermelon on here, our sane on this circle, but we're gonna pop up this shaded spruce onto the melon mambo. So let's go ahead and just do that real quick. And we'll just pop it up We'll put one in the center. We don't want a saggy center. Nobody wants a saggy center. I mean, let's be realistic. All right. So we're just gonna go ahead and put that on there for right now. And I'm gonna, now I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna go ahead and just put the dimensionals on the back of here too, for now just to, but I'm not gonna attach it just yet, okay? All right, so now we need to stamp our watermelon. So I'm gonna get out my shaded spruce and I'm gonna get out my little watermelon base here. And I did bring my, um, poker tool mat, which I love. This currently is not shown in the new annual catalog because originally Stampin' Up! Um, was going to let it go. <clears throat> it was um, considered in May on the retired list in April, but um, they have decided to keep it. Um, and I'm so grateful that they did because many of us use this for our photopolymer stamps. Um, photopolymer are these stamps that look just like this. And sometimes with the bigger images, the larger images, you just need that extra cushion when you're stamping so that you can get a clear stamped image. Um, so I'm so grateful that they did that. Um, and I don't wanna get it all inked up even though it has gotten inked up, but I'm gonna put my little grid paper here and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to stamp this image on the bottom here and we're just gonna go like that, okay? And now I have the center of my watermelon and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this back because we're gonna use this um, shaded spruce for the next card. And the watermelon's going to be Blushing Bride and I'm just gonna go like this. And I'm going to, I don't want it, I do want a little bit of a space so I do want a little bit of the white space between the Blushing Bride and the Shaded Spruce. So I'm just gonna go above it just a little bit here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to stamp that image just like that, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp my image in the Melon Mambo, the Your One in a Melon, okay? Now, Originally, you can do two things. Originally, um, you can do your layering circles, or if you have the one inch circle punch, this would fit in that as well. We do no longer carry the one inch circle punch, um, but if you still have it, I wouldn't get rid of it, um, cause that might be something that you want. I would, I would keep that and you could use that too, okay? Now I am gonna put a dimension on the back of my circle here and I'm gonna get out my Wink Costella because I want to color, give it some shimmer here and just over the Blushing Bride. I don't, I don't wanna do it over the Shaded Spruce. I just wanna do it in the center here, okay? And then we need to have some watermelon seeds here. As you can see, they they are there, but they are in white. So we're going to let this dry for a second and then we're gonna take our dark basic black um, blends and we're going to color in the seeds just to make it kind of pop up a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let that sit for just a second to dry and in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pop up this circle. I'm just gonna kind of place it over the top here and now this I have flat. I do not have this um, on these with dimensions. I do have this flat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this too. It doesn't really matter what order you go in. Whatever works best for you. And then I'm just gonna center it right over the card, okay? Now I'm gonna get out this and I'm going to color in and I'm going to use the, the finer tip side, not the painter side, because it's easier for me to control. All right, now we have some little black seeds. 
easy. Very easy card. This is great for beginners. Um, it gives you a chance to use the designer series paper. It gives you a chance to use embellishment like the Wink Estella and the blend. It also gives you a chance to obviously stamp. Plus then it gives you a chance to use some dies. Okay, so we're gonna, so here is our card and I'm gonna set this one aside and we're gonna go ahead and we're going to go now to the pineapple. So same concept, we have the Whisper White cardstock, but this is the very thick. Um, same card base again on all three cards. It is the five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and one fourth. Only this time we're gonna turn our card going this way. So my piece of paper here is still one and one fourth, but it is now only um, four and a fourth going this way because I'm not going this way. So the piece of paper is cut shorter. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put this in the center, okay? And again, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna put the dimensionals on here. We're gonna do that and again, no saggy center. Okay, and I'm gonna flip this over and we're gonna do that. Now, it does seem like I'm using a lot of dimensionals and that's okay. You get 300 dimensionals for $4. So I am definitely somebody who is not shy with dimensionals. I love them. I use them as often as I can. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside for right now because we have two pieces left. We have our piece that we're gonna do our pineapple on, and then we have the piece here that says, I couldn't ask for a sweeter friend, okay? So let's go ahead and get that, and I'm gonna use the Jet Black Stays On. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp that. Get this out of the way here. I'm just gonna stamp right in the center there. Okay, so now we have our shaded spruce and we are going to put the top of the pineapple and we're just gonna go ahead and go like that. Voila, easy peasy. Okay, now I don't need the shaded spruce anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And then I'm going to put this flat on to the shaded spruce scallop. Okay, so I'm just going to flat put that flat. Okay, now I am going to pop this up. So I'm going to put two dimensionals on here, and I'm not going to put them all the way over. Um, I'm just going to put them kind of just a little in because I really just want them to, to uh, adhere to the white part because I don't want them to be down flat like this. I want this to be popped up a little bit. All right, and I've already put the dimensionals on this side. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then we're just gonna center this in our center of our card. All right, there we are. Now we have another card, the pineapple card. So we have two cards, pretty simple. So the last one that we have left is this little guy. Now this one we're gonna do a little bit different. Same thing with the car base. We're gonna turn it um, like we did the watermelon and we still have our designer series paper and I've chose the granny apple green and I'm still gonna put this in the center here. I mean, these are cards that you could, they're great for beginners. They're great if you wanted to turn them into um, thank you cards or just little cards you wanna send out to somebody. You could um, make quite a few of these. Okay, and let's go like this. Oops, oops, again with the saggy center. We don't want that, do we? Wish my center was, wasn't was saggy, but hey, <laughs> I guess, there we go. Guess beggars can't be choosers, huh? All right, so we're gonna go like that. So now I still have two pieces here. I have a scallop square and I have just this little one here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the stays on and I'm gonna stamp the smile on here. And I'm just gonna set that aside. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna stamp the smile. This is just a scrap piece of paper. Um, that's all I do with it is just make it into a scrap. And then I'm just literally going to snip it. Just snip it so it's small like this. And then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna put a dimensional on there. And I do have mini dimensionals too, so if it's too small, but it actually fits a regular size dimensional perfect. So I'm just gonna set that aside over there because right now I need to do our circles. I am going to start with um, my Flirty Flamingo. This is where it's gonna be a little bit different. So we have, notice how I have Flirty Flamingo, but they look like two different colors. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to stamp off in the center ones, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the outer ring first because I don't have to stamp off with that. I want that to be dark. So I'm gonna do one in the corner there, one in the corner over here, and then I'm gonna do one in the center below, just like that, okay? It doesn't need to be perfect. See, I'm a little off center. That doesn't matter, okay? Now I'm going to ink this up, but I'm going to stamp off one time and then I'm gonna stamp in the center. That gives it that two-tone color, that two-tone look, and makes it lighter. Stamp, stamp off, stamp. There, makes it lighter. Now I'm going to reach my arm across the table, which I was always taught not to do that, but I'm gonna to have to do that because I need to clean off the circle stamp because now we're gonna do it in the granny apple green. Now I do just kind of, once I clean it, stamp off a little bit, because I don't want that on my image. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'll get out the granny apple green, and we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm going to stamp in the center here. I'm going to stamp in the corner here, and I'm gonna stamp in this corner here. Okay, now we're done with that. Now we're gonna do the center, but we're gonna stamp off and then in the center, okay? Stamp off, center, and stamp off, center. Voila. It's a, a little technique you can learn, um, very easy technique. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my little piece that I just kinda cut and it says smile, and I'm gonna put that on there like that. I'm gonna flip it over. And I'm going to put my adhesive on it, my stamp and seal. I'm gonna bring this over. And then all I have to do is take this off and center my card. Look at how simple these cards are. They are definitely great, simple cards. Voila. Now, if you wanted to take your Wink Estella and make them all like shimmery, you could totally do that. But here are our cards for today. I made three cards. So these are our three cards, okay? Did not take us very long at all. I'm gonna quick grab last week's projects because that would be the projects that you would get. So you would get supplies cut for all three of these. I would have them cut and prepped for you. Um, there would be no stamping though. Um, that is, again, Stampin' Up! policy, so stamping would be up to you. Um, and you would get a PDF with colored copy um, pictures, instructions, and a supply list, which right now you know that you would need this stamp set, the cute fruit. Um, again, you could do a different punch, and if you didn't even want to add this, if you're a beginner, you do not need to add that. Um, some of these are just some inks, and then the stitch so sweetly. Um, so we're, you would get all three of these cards. And then last week's project was this birthday card that came with the zany zebras. And again, I had um, a child in mind for this. And then this was um, our mini paper pumpkin box, which I would send you that as well. And then all of these pieces here, um, and you would wink a Stella him, He's cute. You'd get a strip of this to cut that. And then inside, I just put a zebra cake. So these would be the projects. You could put candy inside. You could put cake. I did the cake because it says I got you cake, which is actually not from the zebra 
Zany Zebra stamp set. It is from the Way to Goat stamp set. But you would get supplies all cut for this. You would get supplies all cut for all three of these cards. Um, and really, you wouldn't even, you don't need to order this right away if you didn't um, want to do that and you wanted to get the ink pads because these would be cut for you and sent to you in the make and take. All right. So again, um, you would just go to Amanda's Inspiration Station.com to place your order. You would use this hostess code. Right now, we do have bonus days going on. So if you placed an order of $50, you will automatically get a $5 coupon product or coupon code sent to your email that you can redeem in August. So that is the make and takes this week. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please reach out to me and ask. I'm always here for, um, for anything, for your guidance or to help you with any questions that you have. You guys have a great rest of your week. Thank you.